Hi, Crafty Creators! I'm Shelly. Welcome to my channel. For today's project, we're going to be creating this adorable little Easter egg basket, and it is exactly what I said. It is just perfect to hold one egg. So let's hop to it, and for today's project, you will need 20 gauge wire, needle nose pliers, wire cutters, safety pins, tri beads, and round beads. Get your stuff together and let's get to crafting. The first step is going to be pinning all of your beads. So you want to open up your pin, put on one round bead, one tri bead, and one round bead. Shut your pin. Use your needle nose pliers to pinch the end of that shut because you do not want that to pop open during this project. Complete this sequence and we'll meet you in the next step. Measure out eight to 12 inches of your wire. Pinch the end of it a little bit and count out 18 pins and 18 round beads. You're going to go ahead and put on the end of a pin and then a round bead. The end of the pin, round bead, and round and round and round. Complete the sequence until all 18 are on there. Crisscross your wire and you're going to twist this shut. Make this section a tiny bit loose because we're going to be taking this out later. You will need 8 to 12 inches of wire for your next row, but first I want to make sure that my first section is uh, clipped off because I don't want to be poking myself with those wires. Count out 9 pins and 9 round beads for this. You want to string it on in this order. You're going to do a 1 bead and take this and put put the wire through the head of the pin that you just got done tightening. Then you're going to take the bottom of the pin from your pile and you're going to put that on the wire. Then you're going to go through the head again and then a, another, another bead. So you're going to do it in this order. Bead, head, bottom head, and bead. Bead, head, bottom head, and bead. Pause the video if you need assistance. There's also very detailed instructions in the comments section below. Complete the sequence. Make sure you tighten this section pretty tight. After tightening, clip it and then take that little tiny section right there and tuck it between two pins. This way you don't have to worry about anybody getting hurt. Go ahead and count out uh, 18 pins, 9 beads and measure out about 12 inches of wire and you're going to do it in this order. A bead, an end of the pin, a head of the, the pin on your basket. the end of a pin, and then a head. And I'm sure by now you are feeling extremely confused. It's okay though. It takes practice. Bead and head and head. Bead and head and head. Complete this sequence all the way around. If you need help, again, in the comment section below is detailed. Or you can email me at yourcraftynanny at gmail.com. The row that I'm working on now is row four and I'm using 12 inches of wire, 36 pins and 18 round beads and I'm putting them on in this order. Bead, end of pin, head, end of pin, bead, end of pin, head, end of pin. Just like that. Bead, end of pin, head, end of pin, bead, end of pin, head, end of pin. Now, I need you to flip over your basket after you tighten this section up. Mm -hmm. 
and we're going to be taking out that very, very first section that I said, leave that part a little tiny bit loose. We're taking it out. After you take it out, I need you to cut a 12 inch piece of wire and cut out a, cut, count out about 34 of the round beads. You wanna do the end of the pen, two round beads, an end of the pen, two round beads. And if I didn't mention it before, check your basket every couple of minutes and make sure that all of your pins are in the same direction. Very important step. End of pin, two round beads. End of pin, two round beads. Please don't get frustrated, stay with me. You can do it. End of pin, two round beads. End of pin, two round beads. Look at how beautiful that turned out. Imagine putting one of these in the place setting for each one of your guests at Easter. Here's our scalloping row, which is the most time consuming. You need 18 to 20 inches of wire, 54 round beads, and you're gonna do it in this order, one bead. one pin, two beads, one pin, one bead, one pin, two beads, one pin. Now this gets tight, so make sure to use your pliers and pull your wire through, and the scalloping edge will form on its own as you do this. Each one may be different and unique depending on how well your wire goes on. One bead, one pin, two beads, one pin. One bead, one pin, two beads, one pin. Tighten it, cut it, tuck it. Make sure you tuck it in. And then check your basket and make sure there's no more parts that need to be trimmed or cut. Um, unfortunately, if you missed a pin, you're gonna have to take it out or just cut the pin off. And there you have it. You beautiful little basket that fits one egg. Perfect. Congratulations.